Hi guys, my name is Emily Hawk and today I'm going to present the seed separator to you guys. I got this inspiration because of my family business right now, which is farming. My dad farms, my grandpa farms. Farmers have always been part of my life. My dad also sells equipment, so I know a little bit about machinery as well. So this is where I got the inspiration from. To start off with, I'm going to start with the mission statement. I got this mission statement from our own family farm. We kind of have a little statement of our own. So I used some of that and I also incorporated it with some of the machinery um, aspects of it as well. And so it states, we are a family-owned business with a lot of heart for an average farmer. We work to produce a quality piece of machinery that will help make a farmer's work easier and safer. We strive on our Midwestern roots and we are dedicated to hard work in order to achieve and to help others in accomplishing their goals. I'm going to start off with now is environmental factors which include social trends, economy, political, technology, and co competition. Social trends, the big trend right now is technology. Technology has advanced our whole entire world and that includes farming. Some things that are included with the farming technolo technological aspects are GPS, auto steering, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but like I said, technology has really taken off. It has made farming easier, safer, just a plethora of things that it has done for us. The economy outlook for farming and agriculture is at a good point right now. It's supposed to increase roughly around 12%. Keep in mind that this is including big farming corporations and not necessarily talking about just the regular farmer. The political aspects of this, there aren't a lot to highlight on this. The one main thing that I would like to highlight is that the main, the finished product is the big um, political factor in agriculture. Not necessarily the soybeans and the corn, but that's going to be like your fruits and your veggies where those are coming out of California, Florida, things like that. They're going to be the main regulatory reasons just because um, consumers such as yourself or I are going to consume them and so they want to make sure they're not contaminated, that they were grown properly, things like that. The next thing is technology and social trends and technology really kind of go along with each other here. Like I said, machinery has advanced but also crops have advanced too. They are making seeds so they are being able to prosper in a specific type of soil. So not only is machinery growing and advancing in technology, but also the crop ex um, part of it too. Some of the competition that is going to be included is going to be Butler, John Deere, um, AGCO. Butler and John Deere, are, hopefully you guys have heard of those. Those are kind of the main ones around here. Butler is associated with Catter, Caterpillar machinery, John Deere, RDO is kind of part of that, AGCO, um, maybe not as common, but that's still around here as well. So before we kind of go any further, I just want to give you guys a brief overview of what this product is going to do. This right here is just a map of our home quarter at the farm right here is our farm, and so this is why we call it the home quarter. And as you can see, um, there's different colors right here. And so this blue right here, there's different colors and this kind of gives you the um, the countdown here. And so this blue right here, this is going to be thick soil. And so like I said before, they're making um, seeds that are going to prosper in thick soil versus this red soil is going to be thinner soil. And so what the seed separator is going to do is it's going to have all these different types of types of seeds in the planter. And it's going to have filters so that when you get, when you're going along right here, you're in the green part right here, then you're going to get to a little bit thinner soil and then even more thinner soil. We're going to have some technology that's going to detect that. And once it detects it, it's going to flip the filter so that way the seeds that prosper in this thinner soil is going to be planted instead of seeds that would be planted in this blue soil right here. And so that's just a brief overview of the seed separator. Like I said, it is going to be like a planter, um, just a little bit different, a little bit more advanced. So the target market is 
what we're going to talk about next, I would like to say that our product is in the introduction stage. Even though it is like a planter, the planter is out there, the planter has evolved. The seed separator is still brand new. The technology is going to be brand new. There's not going to be, there hasn't been anything that has a filtering system like the seed separator will have. So I just wanted to emphasize that for you guys real quick. The main target is going to be males ages 35 to 64. There are females in the agricultural world, but the fe the males are the dominant right now. I picked this age group because these are going to be the farmers that are going to be established in their farming career. Sometimes when you're just starting up a career, career in farming, you're not necessarily looking for the latest and greatest technology. You're going to be looking for equipment that's cheaper, that's maybe been used things along that line. We are also looking for a mindset of a farmer who is looking for a safer and easier a safer and easier planter, which would be the seed separator. We're offering advancements, which is going to make it a lot easier for them um, when it comes to planting season. And we're also going to offer those safety features that um, technology or that other machinery are using right now. We're primarily looking for Midwesterners. Um, the seed separator is going to be mainly used for soybeans and corn. That's kind of the type of seed that we're looking at right now. So this is going to kind of affect Midwesterners more than it would, say, people in California or people in Florida who are maybe producing a different type of a crop. I would like to point out that we want to be shortliners, which is maybe a term a lot of you haven't heard a short liner is when you are kind of a small company that is going to produce a product for a larger company. So for instance, Cat or John Deere, we're going to try to focus our target on them right away because we aren't selling a plethora of equipment. We're not selling combines, tractors, grain carts. We're not selling all of those types of things. We're just kind of focusing on one right now. And so, for example, Cat is having... Their combines, they're coming out of Germany, their planters are coming out of Kansas, their tractors are coming out of Minnesota. So we would like it so that we would be short liners for them. So their seed separators are going to be coming out of South Dakota or wherever we decide to put our headquarters. And so that's going to be a big target market for us. It's a little bit different than maybe you guys have heard of. But those big manufacturing companies are kind of looking at smaller companies who make a specific product. And then they're going to take that and retail that to the other farmers. The next is the distribution plan. And this is going to go along with the short lining. These big manufacturing companies, they kind of have their distribution plan set. Um, but we would roughly be doing the same thing. We won't necessarily be giving them inventory every single month or whenever they need it. But instead, they would have a farmer. They would put the seed separator in their catalog. They would try to go out and sell it and find people who would want them and then they would come back to us and say hey we need this many this is where they're going etc etc so ultimately we will be the wholesaler but the distribution plan is going to be distributing to those larger companies we will also want to keep in touch with our local farmers who know about our product who don't want to do the middleman we also want to offer them some type of plan that they can get the seed separated just from us and not having to go to these big, big manufacturing companies. Pricing strategy. We came up with this pricing strategy just based on one type of planter or seed separator. The planter has different rows that they have. So for instance, you can get an eight row planter, a 16 row planter, 36, 32, 28. There's a lot of options there. We are just going with a 16 row that's kind of in the middle between an 8 and like a 32. We picked this just because our startup costs are going to be fairly hefty right away. And so just making one option is going to help us right away. Hopefully down the road when we are established and people know our brand and people are buying it, that they're going, that will offer them more options then. But we're just going to stick with the 16 row. Roughly a planter is marked up about 20-30% and so we're going to do about that too. The estimated price is at $96,000 and we got this from taking just a regular planter what is, which is running at about $50,000 and we're taking that and we're adding on our technology advances and our safety features and all that stuff. We're adding all of them 
to that fifty thousand dollars and then also marking it up so we can make a profit as well so that's going to be about ninety six thousand dollars this product is very elastic a farmer doesn't need a new planter or a seed separator every single year they need it to to plant their field but they it lasts longer they're getting ones that are hand-me-downs etc and the seed separator is going to go against just a normal planter so it isn't an elastic product the last thing here is a promotional plan and our promotional plan is a little bit different than probably an average product just because based on the type of companies we're working with and the type of industry we are in so the first thing is public speaking conferences which is mainly going to be targeted as farm shows farmers come to farm shows they want to know the latest and greatest thing and so we want to get our name out there and that's one way to do it to show them what we're coming up with how it's going to help them things along that line we'll make brochures so we can pitch them to companies like cat like john deere We'll also going along with this conferences we'll have conferences with those big companies to say here this is our pitch this is what we want to do this is what we can offer you this is why you should pick us we'll do some um, publications just so we can make a bigger target group than just maybe around South Dakota Iowa area we can reach out to Illinois um, Indiana things like that who also are gonna want something similar to this we will tell them what's out there we maybe can't get out there all the time but then at least they know what's coming up the last thing is a demo and the demo is kinda like the commercial for a farmer farmers love demos um, the reason for this is they tell them what's happening what's going on with the product they can see what's happening they can see how it's being used etc etc and so demos are a big important thing so we're going to want to create some of those demos once we get this product up and running so we can have people come see say hey this is where we're at this is how it's working come check it out um, on the next page i actually have a demo for you guys it's just of a regular planter but i'll kind of show you how the seed separator is going to differ from that and so i will go ahead and play that for you guys so this is just one of our standard planters that we have out on the farm. In these bins is where the seeds are going to be. They um, In these bins will then have filters, which is going to differ from this. And these filters are going to um, flip the switch on what seed to use. Up in front of the tractor, we'll see a little bit later, that'll detect when to flip that switch. And so as we come around the front, you're kinda, you'll kind of see some computer screens over there, and we'll have things like that for the seed separator that will let the farmer know, hey, you're going to come up to a different soil, we should be switching the type of seeds here. And so that is just a little demo of what the seed separator would entail and how you can see how important it would be for a farmer to see this type of a product being run and being used before they actually go and invest in that. So that is all that I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about the seed separator. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about farming and agriculture. Hopefully it sparked your interest and you think it's a cool product. And thanks for listening.